Hi everybody, welcome to Homeworld Deserts of Karak. Uh, this is a game I've been kind of looking forward to. I didn't get the chance to try it out. Uh, it was a bit expensive on release, and I'll talk more about the pricing, I guess, a bit later. Uh, but I've been looking forward to this guy because it's, um, it's a game that I played a lot when I was a kid, just a Homeworld in general. And one of, the, one of the, I think it was like the second Let's Play I did on YouTube ever was Homeworld 2. Uh, so I've been actually looking to get back into the Homeworld games since there was like a re-release of, uh, of a lot of the games. And this ended up actually being a prequel. Uh, so I'm actually, for the Homeworld Remastered Edition, I'm still waiting for a nice big patch to fix a lot of the formation issues that that game has. Uh, which still, uh, nothing about it. Uh, we know that we're wor they're working on it. But in the meantime, there's this game, which is the prequel. So uh, it's it's pretty good. I'll say that much. Um, but I'll get, I'll get more into it when I do the campaign. So... I guess let's get started. Uh, I I did a first couple of missions on normal, and then like it's it's actually not that problematic on on classic mode. So it's gonna be kind of blind blind after some point. So I'll get just get ready for that. Our planet is dying. The desert grows with every passing year. The world is at war. But there is hope. An object has been detected deep within the Great Banded Desert. It has been called the Jiraki Object, the primary anomaly. We believe it may hold the key to our salvation. An expedition to retrieve it is being prepared. Five nine. 
cycling at 30 second increments until 99 at 7. Bringing systems online. Fleet manager online. Resource control system online. Unit status online. Command system online. Objective tracking online. All control systems successfully installed and online. Systems confirmed. Rachel, redeploy to your base runner. Copy that. Attention all stations. This is fleet intelligence for the expedition carrier Capisi. I will be issuing all mission objectives through this channel. Full up. Before departure, we need to run essential tests on our key capabilities. Vehicle production, resource salvaging, and combat operations. Time is of the essence, so let's run through these quickly. Fleet operations, is your channel clear? Affirmative. I will be providing all non-critical updates on unit production, research, resource salvaging, and all carrier systems through this channel. Copy that. Stand by to initiate production test. Number four, carrier status. First, deploy a salvager from the command carrier Capisi. Update, thank you. Checking. System stable. All clear. Send orders. Salvager online. Identified. Stand by to commence resource test. Order the salvager to gather nearby resources located here. This guy's adorable. Got a little like Ray. Rachel, the Capisi support cruiser has suffered a mechanical failure and requires immediate repairs before departure. Science officer responding. Fleet group five assigned. Get that unit back online. Move. Use your base runner to repair the support cruiser located here. Initiating repairs. We have repair beams in the future, or the past. Or on Carrick. CU site exhausted. Repairs completed. Good work, Rachel. Cruiser ready. Stand by for combat test. In order to produce combat vehicles, we will need to invest time and resources in upgrading our tech. The first step is to upgrade the Capisi's advanced manufacturing facilities. Go for Once that is done, we will be able to build light attack vehicles. Capisi, go ahead. Carry your copies. Research completed. Light attack vehicle fabrication now online. Produce three light attack vehicles from the Capisi. Light attack vehicle online. Yes, yeah, sir. You're not going to hear much from me for this mission because it's uh, pretty easy. It's this typical light homeworld kind of intro. I actually like it. It's a throwback, you know. Light attack vehicle online. Light attack vehicles ready. Target drones are now ready for weapons testing. Hostile. Use the light attack vehicles to target and destroy the drones located here. I always seem to be able to focus on one unit. Like little dune buggies too. All required tests are complete. Give me a go, no go for launch. Operations? Go. Bridge? Go. Rachel? Science team's in place, we're go. Engineering? Go. Confirm all systems go. Jet Carrier Capisi, we are go for launch. Launch command confirmed. Understood. Prepare to open outer door. Fire off. Disengage launch. Outer doors opening. Mass ratio in line. Tracking solid. Doors at 50%. Looking good. Bring engines to speed and move out. Outer doors at full aperture and secure. She's all yours, Captain. All stations, this is your captain. Today we embark on a historic mission to find and retrieve the Draki object. 
lying at the heart of the Great Bandit Desert, deep inside Galcian territory. We believe it holds the key to our survival on this planet. The journey will be perilous. But if successful, we will change the course of history forever and secure our future for generations to come. Personal Log, Science Officer Rachel Sajet, Expedition Carrier Capisi. We've launched three months ahead of schedule and just in time. The Gaussian threat was far greater than we had anticipated. As the lead scientist on this expedition, I'm more convinced than ever that my brother was right, that what lies out there amongst the dunes holds the key to our survival on this planet and possibly beyond. We have no choice now but to believe. We have successfully entered the open desert and are safe, for now. Before leaving, we received this Gaussian transmission. Attention, Kithid of the North. I am Kagan of the Kith Gaussian. Servant of the mighty Kahad Sajuk. For generations, you have violated the first commandment of our Creator by entering into space. You seek the stars. Now you invade our lands for the second time. Diplomacy has failed. We can tolerate this no longer. The suffering of this war will be nothing compared to the wrath of Sajuk. Long live the people of Karak. We are now behind enemy lines. A Sajet lander carrying with it our sensors manager will rendezvous with us at the Boneyard, a salvage facility to the east. At the Boneyard, we will install the sensors manager, gather additional resources and expedition vehicles before moving out and proceeding to our designated target. The fate of the expedition, and possibly the North itself, now rests on us. Boneyard Control, this is the Capisi. Request immediate clearance to dock. Copy, Capisi. We've been waiting for your arrival. You're cleared to dock. Cruiser standing by. Boneyard Epsilon Lander 607 is wheeled down and prepping cargo for unload. Roger that. Lowering module. Contact. Releasing clamp. Sensors manager coming online. The Capisi's desert refit is underway. While that happens, we need to gather as many resources as possible and reactivate retired units to bolster our fleet. Intelligence indicates Gaussian forces are inbound on our location. We don't have long before they arrive. What do you need? Rachel, you and the support cruiser need to reactivate the decommissioned units using your repair beams. Copy that, Intel. I like how dramatic the, uh, group two assigned. the uh, activating the sensors Carry manager was. You know, I probably should have even checked to see if it was even the on the ship. The south is growing in intensity and has turned our way. Oh, there it is. Right on there. Ready. Reading you. I think I think it's kind of cool. So, anyways, the the game is probably twice as expensive as it probably should be. Um, like it's like sixty dollars unreleased, not enough content in the game, I'd say, to justify that cost. Acknowledged. And I I got the game for for free from a guy named uh, Loveless Ares, who's a big fan of mine. We just received a transmission from Northern Command. They have confirmed that multiple coalition bases have fallen, including Delta, Juno, and Epsilon. Here is under siege. It appears the Sedim carrier, the Sakala, also managed to escape. We are to rendezvous with her and continue on with the expedition at all costs.
Additional groups of contacts detected and closing in. Perimeter turrets engaging enemy units. Keep those Gaussian forces away from the Capici and continue to gather resources and units until departure. Be advised, Class 5 Sandstorm detected on approach. Ready. Armor Control Group 1 designated. We're gonna let him come to us. Strike copies. Coordinates confirmed. But anyways, uh... Runner. See you deposit sure completed. Yeah, it's... The game is just, I think, a little bit too expensive. And I'll Gearbox sensor post destroyed. literally just bought the entire rights Ready to all the... Kind of the, the entire the franchise for, uh... For Homeworld, which isn't a good sign. Because Gearbox is very, very much a mixed bag. Armor online. And so... They're trying to make their money back already, I'm guessing. Got hostile on sensors. Confirm visual. Not against people making money, Go but like, a it's, as I said, fire. literally th there's DLC for this game. None of which I have, because it's like not very useful. Neither, uh, none of it is. Uh, and the other thing I got, other thing is like, there's just a ton of, like, like, it's all really expensive. Like, they have a bunch of story stuff, and it's like, eight dollars? Like, okay. I don't know. Point set. The Gaussian attacks will continue. We require additional forces. We do not have a sufficient number of LAVs. Collect more CUs and build more LAVs immediately. Ready. Le Friendly interceptors crossing our airspace. Check your fire. Oh, I see the see these guys. All systems green. Yeah. Light attack vehicle in yeah. service. You see they clip into each other, this is the future. Uh, it's, it's as I said, it's a decent game. Uh, it's not without its bugs and flaws. Ah, uh, can't see them anymore. Light attack vehicle in service. As it, I overall, I like it. Inbound friendly contacts detected. Possible survivors from Epsilon or nearby bases. I hope they make it. We're gonna need all the help we can get. All systems green. Hostile light attack vehicle visually authenticated. Armored vehicle is taking fire. Allied armor assault vehicles entering your area. Taking it. We need immediate assistance. Be advised. Allied armored assault vehicles are deploying smoke screens to break enemy line of sight. Reading. Copy. We've got some neat concepts like down. that. Wait. On our way. Let's bring Control everything group here. One designated. We have a target. Receiving. Hostile on set. Armor control. Authentication pending. All out. Op ready. Green line confirmed. Op ready. All right, so these guys. Wait. Right. Go ahead. Coordinates confirmed. Wait, right, two Proceeding. needs to go over there. What is two doing? Reading. Control group two designated. All right, sorry, I'm just making proper uh, groups for this. Uh, we don't want our we don't want our heavy guys to really kind of go that far. And these these units keep getting conf confused. Is that guy dead or not? Difficulty targeting our units at short range. Our LAV's inherent speed and quick boost ability will allow them to close on enemy units quickly. Use this to gain the advantage. A second flight of friendly interceptors is passing through. Keep your crosshairs low. Warning. Storm front arrival in approximately seven minutes. We're clear. Transferring to your control. Let's roll. Allied units acquired. The more we save, the stronger we'll be as we enter the desert. Armor is on route. So no formations or anything, we just got a couple abilities Alert, here and that's it. Destroyed. We're just gonna let them come to us. I, I don't really feel the need to to run away from the KPZ at all. Armor copies. Strike craft ready. Hostile light attack vehicle detected. Armor vehicle oh, taking effective fire. Oh, by the way, did I mention they have railguns in this game? It's not a reason I like it, it's just like even though I meme up about that all the time. Wait, wait, why, why are they going over here? Green line confirmed. Recommend improving unit survivability by investing in engineering upgrades. Orders. Hostile strike craft down. Go. Let's Go do for some for LAV up for engine upgrades. Alert, Rachel is under fire. Yeah, Rachel's tanky, and I should also mention the carrier is tanky as well. And in fact, I should be using it in basically every fight. 
Uh, except right now, because it won't move from there, because it's being refitted or something. I'm just kind of checking around to see who what we still got. Location marked. Cruiser reading. Roger. Coordinates confirmed. Escort set for armor. We're just gonna escort, uh... That sandstorm is closing on us fast. Five minutes until storm front impact. Secure PDA for move. I, c I can't dock them or anything, so... I mean, we have a giant fucking sand carrier. I mean, that's pretty sweet. I have to mention. You know, I, 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 didn't, I didn't talk about that at all, but that's pretty... That's a pretty cool concept. I like that. Strike copies. All right, what else do we got? Enemy Nobody light else. attack vehicle marked on approach. Copies Armored vehicle is taking fire. Armor, go ahead. Deploy smoke. Acknowledged. Reading for orders. A turret is under fire. Light Operate. attack vehicle is under fire. Okay, unfortunately, our line of sight is blocked too. Apparently. Reading. Keep moving. Look around. Keep the speed up. Enemy real gun eliminated. Run away. Strike craft destroyed. Ready. Order. Swing around. Maintain fire. Trying to save as many units as I can. Alert. Light attack vehicle. Might as well make some more uh, more little buggies. Just a few more. Not not that many. Light attack vehicle in service. Receiving. Push through. On our way. The Jet Salvage Depot. Allied Light Patrol Group. We are inbound on your location. Galcian Sand Skimmers in pursuit. Request immediate support. Goodbye. Order the Allied Light Attack Vehicles to use their quick boost ability to escape the pursuing Galcian. Orders! I'm ready. Command, we need support. Light Attack Vehicle in service. Move order. Fleet Group 2 assigned. Guard set on armor. Reposition! Hostile strike craft down. Ready for orders. Still have two salvagers, it's all good. They're just a part of the group. There's nothing wrong with that. Honestly, I probably shouldn't be doing that. Alright, so do we got anything else coming? No. Just these guys. I like how like, just everything's just healing each other. That is literally a rave party going on down here. With cars. Amazing. Probably have to face whoever this is real soon. Ready, push up to that point. All right, we got more than enough uh, little Armor cars copy. now. Strike craft ready. Hostile light On attack vehicle detected. I mean, we're reaching our supply limit as well. I wonder who this guy is. Hostiles designated. Tractors assigned. We have a boneyard Capisi. Allied armor group on approach. We're under fire and need immediate support. Hostile railguns have opened up. Hit that target with smoke! Copy. Display! Ready! Clear out! Hit it! Tracking target! Alright, we should help those guys it's real soon. Shot. Go. Ready. Hostile range crafting droid. I'll make him come in as, and come to support. Boneyard staff transferring aboard. Droid. Move for order. Unit secured. Close range, move fast! Order! I like the, 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 the little swarm of bees, you know? It's fucking the best. Op ready. Alright, so these guys can join group one. Attacking the support cruiser? Like I care. I mean, they're kind of getting stuck on terrain here. It's kind of weird. And don't, don't ever worry about the KPC. I, I, I've so far thrown my KPC into everything and it's never died, so... I'm gonna assume that that's just gonna be the case throughout the entire campaign, which probably is not the case, but you know. Capici is ready for immediate egress. It is hostile. Ground units, eliminate remaining Gaussian forces and prepare for departure. Punch it. Storm front arrival in one minute. All crews, prepare the Capici to move out. Order! Get on that get the rest of these railguns. Enemy railgun eliminated. Receiving! Go, go! Go back. Back up. Actually, no, let's just go straight for the, for the, straight for the last guy. And yeah, like it, the, the little guys can just kind of chase down the rest of them. But I have so many units that like, I'm not going to follow like, one individual one. Because not, not only do they create a lot of smoke, 
they're really fast. Alert, sensor post lost. Right, we lost We've our sensor post. Under fire. Target lost. Sorry, I sometimes have the I sometimes have the uh, inclination to use the census manager to overview everything. Oh no, did I lose a salvager? No, I did. We lost one. It actually isn't worth a whole lot, so we don't really care. Actually. Reading. Armor copies. Target to front. Strike copies. Copy. Railgun targeted. All right, let me go over the doom. Get us over there. And we're gonna come right, we're come right at him. We get we get him a bit of a damage boost for coming from the top of the dune as well. Like it says plus here. I'm not sure if that's what that does, but yeah, because they're on high ground. I don't, I don't know how to really tell the buff amount, but stormfront arrival imminent. All right, bring engines to full and move out. Confirmed. Copy. Displacing now. Wind speed in excess of 300 kilometers per hour. Copy that. Engaging full shutters. Expect impact on my mark. In three, two, one. Mark. Personal log. Intelligence officer Nathan Sajet. Expedition carrier Capisi. Our refit is mostly complete and we're now headed for open desert. Several coalition units were able to link up with us and have joined our ranks. To the north, Gaussian forces are laying siege to our homes. There's no going back. The expedition must carry on. It's hard to believe it's been four years since our satellites detected the Jiraki object. That massive anomaly deep in the uncharted desert, its energy readings rivaling our planet's sun. Rachel thinks it could be the source of the new Gaussian technology. Only time will tell. Alright guys, that's all the time we got for today. Hope you're enjoying. See you guys next time. Goodbye.